In this part, we would talk about placenta and its role as an endocrine gland. So here we are talking about the structure that is placenta. Let us first talk about its actual role. Placenta is a mechanical and physiological connection. And this connection is between the maternal tissue and the developing embryo. So we say that this placenta is a mechanical and physiological connection between the developing embryo and maternal tissue. And its primary role is to provide nourishment and the respiratory gases to the developing embryo. This is its primary function. That is, it helps in supplying the nutritive material and oxygen. So this is the primary function. But placenta acts as a temporary endocrine gland. And when we are saying that it acts as a temporary endocrine gland, that means after its formation till parturition, it is going to act as an endocrine gland. And it secretes certain hormones out of which estrogen is one, progesterone is the second. And their roles we have already discussed because these are the same hormones which are also produced from the various uh, cells of the ovaries. The other hormone which is exclusively produced or secreted from this placenta is known as HCG. The full form is human chorionic gonadotropin. Gonadotropin. And this is exclusively produced by placenta. And it is the same hormone which is detected in the urine to confirm pregnancy. And that test is known as Gravinex test. In this, the urine sam sample is tested. It is an actually antigen antibody reaction. And if human chorionic gonadotropin is present in the urine, then the test would be taken as positive. And if this hormone is detected in the urine, that means the female's body is producing it. We have just said that it is produced exclusively from placenta. That means the placenta formation has taken place. And when would the placenta form? When the embryo is there. That means the female is pregnant. So this is one hormone which is important, secreted from placenta. The next hormone is known as human, human placental lactogen. It is called human placental lactogen. And it is responsible for the growth of mammary glands. And because of this same function, this hormone is also known as human chorionic somato mammotropin. That means it is stimulating the mammary gland so that after a parturition, the lactation is proper. So these are four hormones which are from uh, the placenta part. And placenta, as we said, is a temporary endocrine gland. Its primary function is the connection between the fetus and the maternal tissue and it just supplies all that nourishment from the mother's body to the developing embryo. 
after talking of this placenta, which is a temporary endocrine gland, we would talk about two more uh, hormones and the structures or the cells from where they are secreted. So this was the placenta, temporary endocrine gland. The next, we are talking about the hormone which is being secreted by the kidney. The hormone is called erythropoietin. And erythropoietin, as the name tells us, it stimulates the bone marrow cells to produce RBC. Bone marrow and bone marrow cells are stimulated and RBC production increases. Erythropoietin secretion, secretion would be controlled by situations like if there is bleeding, then this RBC has to be produced because blood loss has taken place. Second is if the person goes to higher altitude or we can say at higher altitude. We know that when we go to higher altitude, the oxygen is less. So to take that oxygen, more and more hemoglobin is required. And to have that hemoglobin, more RBC production has to take place. So if these are the conditions, then the secretion of erythropoietin would be triggered. And RBC production is known as erythropoiesis. And that's why this hormone is called erythropoietin. The next structure which secretes a hormone is heart. Heart also produces a hormone and the name of that hormone is atrial natriuretic factor. Its full form is atrial natriuretic factor factor. It is produced from the atria or auricles. There are cardiocytes of atria that is auricles. They secrete this hormone that is ANF, atrial natriuretic factor. And the time or the reason when this would be secreted is when blood pressure increases. If blood pressure rises, then this NANF is secreted by these cardiocytes of the auricles or atria. And how is this hormone going to work? It promotes this ANF, it promotes excretion of ions. And if ions get excreted, then from the blood, little water is going to come out. So blood pressure would be brought back to normal or regulated. So excretion of iron which lowers the blood pressure. So the time when this ANF is secreted is when the blood pressure is high. And the role of ANF is to bring that high blood pressure to normal. How does that uh, function uh, take place? It is by excretion of ions. If ions get excreted out, then the water from the blood comes out of the blood and the blood pressure decreases. So these are two more organs which are producing some small um, the hormones and their uh, functions restricted to a specific thing. So here we have talked about placenta, which is a temporary endocrine gland and the two hormones we have already discussed, the estrogen, progesterone, their roles we have already talked of. HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, uh, we have not written its function. It is required to maintain corpus luteum. That is the function of HCG, it maintains corpus luteum. And one more that is HPL, human placental lactogenic hormone. And its role is to stimulate the memory gland so that 
after parturition, lactation can take place properly. HCG is the hormone which is detected in urine because it gets excreted out in urine. And if a female has this hormone in the urine, then the pregnancy test comes as a positive. The name of the test is also written here. Kidneys and heart, they also produce hormones, but they are conditional. Erythropoietin is secreted when there is excessive bleeding, there is loss of RBC. And at high altitude where there is more and more demand of taking oxygen. In those situations, this would be produced. It stimulates bone marrow cells and bone marrow cells will produce more and more RBC. So that is erythropoiesis. Heart, it also produces a hormone and the situation when this hormone would be produced is whenever there is a rise in blood pressure. So its role is to bring down that increased blood pressure to normal. With this, we have completed all endocrine glands and their hormones along with functions, hypo and hyper conditions.